Star Wars and Nostalgia. Today we're jumping into one of my favorite Star Wars games of all time, Dark Forces in Virtual Reality. This is actually using Dr. Beef's conversion of Jedi Academy and then a mod on top of that for Dark Forces. Now let's jump into one of my all time favorite Star Wars games, Dark Forces in VR. All right, here we are, and welcome to Dark Forces in VR. Let's do this. I st <laughs> this is friggin' nostalgic. I love playing older games like this. Even though this is a redesign for Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, this is a mod for Jedi Academy, not the original Dark Forces. I still love being able to go back to this type of place. And it's just so nostalgic. Come on, where are you? I heard you. Oh, there you are. Jeez, scared me. All right, I've played this game so many times in the past. I shouldn't have any problem remembering where I'm supposed to go. All right, let's get this. Oh, come on, open up. There we go. Gotcha. Star Wars is probably one of my favorite series of all time for both games and there's the security key for games and for movies. Oh, come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. There we go. All right, got him. I'm so happy to be able to go into VR in games like this, classic games that I can remember, and just enjoy myself experiencing them in a whole new way. Oh, come on, just hit him already. Should be another guy over here. There he is. Oh, he's jumping. Okay. The benefit of this game... My goodness, can't hit the broad side of a barn. The benefit of... Oh, look at that. There's the secret area over there. Anyways, what I was saying is the benefit of this game instead of the original Dark Forces game is that this... Should be a guy around the... There he is, right there. I love being able to play this in Jedi Academy, anyways, is what I've been trying to say. Because it's all 3D, you know? This mod that they made for Jedi Academy is awesome. Just the fact that I get to actually play this. I think that the mod includes the first six levels. Got him. I also love that you can still shoot the glass. I just love everything about it, really. The experience, the nostalgia. There we go. All right. Open that up. Steal these Death Star plans. Bet you didn't know if you ever played this game. Get that, ship. Yeah, I know. We gotta get to the ship. I bet you didn't know that if you never played this game, that Kyle Katarn in this version of Star Wars, which is still canon, technically, I think, is the one that stole the Death Star plans. I'm not sure if it's 100% canon or not, actually, anymore. I can't remember if Star Wars made it canon, or if Disney did, rather. This all used to be canon, and then Disney wiped it away. There, good grief. Come on, come on, come on. Gotcha. There we go. There's my ship. I just saw it. There it is, right there. Nice. Please don't land on top of me. Look at that. We've beat the first level already. All right, here we go. Look at the rain. It actually looks really good. This is the level with the swamps, I think. Got him. Where are they? There they are. Here we go. Keep on moving. Look at the bones. <laughs> An incredible recreation, really, of this. Really, you know? Yep, I am right here. Okay, here we go. Take him out, take him out! You know what's creepy? Not creepy, but always used to freak me out about this game. When I used to play it, it was then the Dark Troopers started to show up. That always freaked me right the heck out. Alright, well we gotta go this way. We, we've already gone this way. Where do we start the generator? I can't remember, it's been so long since I did this. The first level, I still remember, like, completely. Well, maybe I gotta go through there. Oh, right here, here we go. Alright, I missed it. There we go. Got it. All right, here we go. More troopers, more people. Oh, jeez. Got him. Take him out already, will ya? There, good grief. All right, guys. Sorry to disturb your party, but you know what? All right, here we go. Keep on moving. Oh. Oh, shoot. I can honestly say I don't remember what to do. <laughs> I'm kind of lost. Let's go down here and see what happens. Oh, here we go. This is where we're supposed to go. Okay. There we go. 
That's what we need to do. Oh, jeez! You scared me, you guys. I've got to restart the generator first. I know. We're working on it. Gotcha. Up there. All right, come on. All right, here we go. Gotta get across that bridge. This is the, the generator. Should be around here somewhere. All right, let's find the manual control room. All right, here we go. Kyle Katarn is like a one-man army, you know? Like, nobody can defeat him. I'm find that hydroelectric generator soon. I'm not getting anywhere without the power. I'm working on it. Just calm the freak down, will you? Okay. Possibly in here? Let's just go back to the beginning. This goes back to the beginning, okay. All right, we need to find this generator, wherever the heck it is. Oh, what's this right here? Oh, this is where I was just, was this where I just was? This is I where I just find was. That hydroelectric generator soon. Maybe it's over here, let's check this area. Oh, jeez! Anybody over here? Hello? Anybody here? Oh, there's people in there. I must have to go in there. All right, let's go in this room. Ready? Blast off. Gotcha. Looks like they've taken up residence in this uh, bar kind of place. Oh, I caught your gun. Thank you. I think I've been that way all the way around now. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, whoa, whoa. Stop shooting at me up there. Yeah, I did. I made my way all the way around. <laughs> not even sure where to go. I might have to actually end it right here. And not because I can't figure out what I'm doing, but because I'm actually starting to get motion sick. A lot. I think it's because I'm recording at the same time, because I feel like, like it's, oh, there's a lot of hitching and glitching. Oh, here it is, right here. I found it anyways. I got a checkpoint. Okay, I got to turn the generator on. There we go. But I do think that I'm going to have to end it right here because I, uh, I'm starting to get motion sick. You can't see it probably, but there's a lot of screen glitching and hitching. And boy, am I starting to get motion sick. So I think I'm going to have to end it right here, unfortunately. But this has been really cool and very nostalgic. There you go. There's some Dark Forces in VR on the Quest 2. Special thanks to Dr. Beef and everything he's done to convert these games over to virtual reality. It's fantastic. I'll put a link down in the description to their Patreon where you can find more information about them and how to sideload some of this really cool stuff that they've done for the community. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and may the fourth be with you.